tonight. It's the first time that GAM's done an actual art opening. Uh, we're hoping this kind of sets a precedent and changes the opinion of what video games are in terms of art and also what Jacksonville is in relation to art and video gaming. And it's been great to see so many people showed up. We had, we capped it off at 300 people to keep it a small, kind of more quaint event. I think more than 300 people ended up getting through the door, but it's been really cool to see just how people showed up and so many people want to see something more happen, whether it be in gaming, or whether it be within the world of art. I think people just want to be a part of something more. They want to see better things happen with society. And I think that's what's happening here tonight. So many people have been so accepting of each other. And to see the gaming community kind of step up and not fall into the stereotypes. Everyone thinks of like, hey, when it's going to be a gaming event, it's going to be, oh, it's going to be Cheetos and Mountain Dew, and they're just going to sit in a room, blah, blah, blah. There's a huge planetarium where people are playing games and there's like 160 people surrounding it applauding the moves that are going on as if it's an actual stadium event you know there's people admiring the artwork of just like tile hey what's up uh tiled video game artwork and i never this is the kind of things that i wish i would have had when growing up and it's cool now to see the next generation get that opportunity um, even this morning Kids were coming in for clean air day, and the first thing they would come upstairs and they'd be with chaperones, and they're supposed to go do their clean air stuff. And they'd go, "Oh my God, it's Mario! It's Pikachu!" And they just want to hang around and they want to see. It. And then these are games that were out 10, 15, 20 years ago, but these kids still have the same. They have an appreciation for it, and it's that kind of appreciation that we try to instill in the children when they take their modern art classes. We show them, "Hey, this is a Picasso. This is a." something from Raphael, this is Michelangelo, I'm thinking Ninja Turtles now. But, um, and we try to teach them what is the significance of these art pieces from not just an execution standpoint, but from what it meant to society, the culture. These kids are already getting it. They're seeing it when they see Mario, and they see Link, and they see you know, Princess Peach and Samus. This is stuff of a different era. This is stuff of people and evolving technology. And it was, it's something that's also indicative of people trying to strive to do more. And I think that's what everyone here has done here tonight. So we've done more, we've pushed our culture forward.